I'm aboard the Joseph T. Dickman, APA 13, Lucky 13. Actually, I'm in the boat division, which is transporting the soldiers into the beach, the boat division the amphibs. We took off from uh, Torquay, England. That's where we loaded the troops. And at 12.30 that night, nobody was getting any sleep at all. We took off for through the English Channel to the Bay of Seine. Around 2.33, it was away all boats, lowering all the amphib boats with us in it. And then we went out and circled. The, the, the weather was rough, I remember that, a lot of waves. They circled until they call us in. Now all the troops have to climb down a rope net into the boat. Well, we're going boom, 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 you know, four guys, and they're loaded down, they're, they're heavy. I know, just like myself, they were frightened. And going into the beach in Normandy, a lot of them were seasick. I was seasick. I, this day, I can't remember how many miles it was into the beach. But all I know is you could see light coming, you know, dawn was coming. And we must, we must have been traveling maybe two hours. Because you can't go very fast in the LCVP anyway, fully loaded with troops. And you got a blunt bow and you're just pushing against the water. They lowered a ramp and off they went now. They went in about a three foot of water. And I, 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 can remember, I remember hearing, you know, the f firing of the guns and, and I remember, I don't know how close you have to be to a bullet to hear it, but I remember hearing, you know, zzz, you know. I was a stupid young kid. I was scared, but not that scared because I'm too young to be that scared, you know. But I remember turning to the coxswain, he's the guy that drives it, because I was the bow hook. And, uh, I said, Sonny, what the hell are they shooting at? Because <laughs> I thought the, the enemy was supposed to shoot at the soldiers, not us. We were just a taxi, you know, a taxi cab. We were, we were just bringing them into the beach. But uh, we, they got out and we started backing off. And uh, we didn't get too far off. And bam, a big hole come in the bottom of the boat. None of us got hurt. None of us, the four of us, they didn't get wounded. And what we had hit is a mine. That's what Utah Beach is famous for, mines. You don't know how many boats, even ships got hit and sunk with mines in Utah. So we had to all jump overboard and start swimming. <laughs> and each one of us, we got separated, and each one of us was picked up by another boat off of another ship and took us back to our vehicle, uh, our vessel. And, uh, all I remember is coming aboard. I said, hey, permission to come aboard. Down to my compartment, flaked out, went to sleep. When I woke up, we were in England. I was in the war, but I wasn't really getting shot at only a couple of times, you know. I was shot at by the Germans, I was shot at by the Japanese, but that doesn't, that doesn't really mean anything. That sounds like, oh boy. He really did something. I didn't do nothing. I drove like a, a taxi cab into the beach. So I can see.